Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the number 1111 or 111 or any variation of that number. Now, before I dive in to what this number means and what you need to do and what is why it's showing up in your life again and again, I want to tell you guys that I am a Virgo, I am a perfectionist, and it is my duty, my sole purpose here to make sure that I am not swaying the masses in a way or swaying anyone outside of their own personal purpose, their own personal destiny. When I am sharing this information with you, this content with you, it is not to speak um, a truth that doesn't resonate with you. You always have to check in with yourself. Don't just take my word. I don't care how knowledgeable I am. I don't care how long I've been studying this, which has been for a really long time. If it doesn't resonate with you, if it doesn't hit a chord of truth within your own heart, within your own spirit, take it, toss it, okay? But um, this is something that has been consistent for me and also consistent with other people, with my clients. After I say it to them, after I say it to my family, my friends, they're like, oh my God, Jess, you were so right. This is exactly what happened. But at the same time, again, coming on such a public forum and sharing this information is something that everybody is so different. Everybody's paths are so different. And my intention is to always guide you and everyone to their highest and greatest good or for their highest and greatest good with love and light in the way that is best for everyone and hurts heart hurts and harms no one. Woo! I had to say that. I had to say that. All right, enough of that. What does it mean when you see the number 1111 or some variation of that number? Well, before I dive into that, I want to say that we have to talk about the number 1 and the power of the number 1. And okay. So the number 1 is uh masculine. It's all about what you can do so that it can be created. This is the seed. This is what you are creating. This is your intention. So you can use your intention through the power of your words. You can use it through your feelings. You can use it through your passion and you can also write it down, turn it into a physical, a physical thing. So take that thought and turn it into a physical, meaning by writing it down, getting it out of your head and onto paper allows things to manifest. We talk that, about that a lot with the law of attraction and scripting and writing things down so that we can manifest. So because the number one is so masculine and it's all about masculine energy, you, when you're seeing this number, the universe, my angels, my guides have consistently have shown me this number when they are calling me to do something. Now, for some of you guys, you, I don't want to overwhelm you when I say that. Because sometimes doing something, when you see that number, just means that you say something. Like, let's say I'll see the, the number 1111 after I'm thinking a thought of, should I do this video for my tribe? Should I do, um, you know, should I go on this trip? Should I text my friend? And I'll see 1111. To affirm that thought, whatever that thought was, or whatever it was that I was thinking about within that moment, and I'll make a note of it, in that moment, the thing that I will do is I will say yes. Or if I don't like it, I will say no. Or if I have an idea and then there's that's what came through when I saw the number 1111 or some variation of that, the, the next thing I will do is I will write it down. Let's say, let's say I'm saying, thinking to myself, well, should I do a, this um, synchronistic numbers and angel numbers for my tribe and I see 1111 on the clock or a, I a text message comes through and someone says, just look 1111 or something like that. Like somehow it appears and manifests and I see it. When I see the number 1111, I will pull out my pen, I will pull out a paper or maybe even my phone, take notes and start to write down the ideas that are attributed to that thought, to that idea because that's the energy that that number brings. That's the message that is coming in my life. That's the number that is um, that's the energy that is kind of like manifesting. That's what the universe, my angels, my guides is nudging me towards within that moment. So when you are seeing the number 1111 or some variation of it, if you haven't already manifested something or if you haven't already set intention, then this could be your angels and your guides calling you to get into that alpha mode, get into that leadership mode, get into the creator, the magician mode, where you are thinking about or focusing on, well, what is it that I do want to set intention within this moment? The other thing that I want you guys to remember or to consider is what were you thinking and what were you doing when that number appeared within your life? What was going on in your head? What felt right? What felt wrong? 
And if something felt good, or if you, if you were kind of thinking about a plan or an idea or something that is that you wanted to do, and that number came up as confirmation and affirmation, then really take it seriously because the universe, your angels and your guides is nudging you and saying, look, this is something good. So take this and start to create on it. Start to set intention around it. Start to manifest it. That's the other thing too, is that sometimes when this number appears, for me personally, the thought that I have is still in creation mode. So it hasn't been perfected yet. And for those of you guys that know me by now, and hopefully by now, because I said it a few times, I think in this YouTube video, I'm a Virgo and I like my ideas and I like things to be as perfect as possible without bogging myself down with the details of things, right? Um, when the number 1111 appears in some very variation of that number, I will realize that it is only just the beginning. This is only the start of it. So I don't have to expect perfection from that idea or my intention. I just know that my angels and my guides are kind of offering up the opportunity to, to give me the space to create with this, to try it out, to see what it is that I would want, how does it make me feel, what are my thoughts, how, like what is it that I want to do with it, what is it that I want to create, and take all those things into consideration before it actually materializes into and grows into something bigger. So when you see the number 1111, this is all about that intention, that first seed, but take it for what it is. It's brand new, it's still a baby, and it's going to grow, but get merge all of the aspects of yourself, all of the sides of yourself, put it, pour it into that thought, pour it all into that seed, and start to create with it, start to tailor it, start to allow it to be an individual and to kind of like manifest in the way that it will. Okay. Oh my goodness. So, um, the other thing that I want to say with this is that I have also noticed with the number 1111 and with the number, um, 111 is that sometimes on the opposite spectrum of this, I have seen in my life that this meet, this has shown me that something has actually conjoined. Something has actually come together. So I have seen the number 1111 for me show me that something actually has been created. Interestingly enough, because it, and it really makes sense too, because I study astrology and I study the charts. And sometimes when we are looking at, um, you know, the number one, it is, it almost is like forces have come together to conjoin. So like a conjunction within the within the astrology chart and it just is two energies have molded to come together or maybe four different forces have come together in order to create one solid thing. So I've also seen the number 1111 or 111 show that something, a portal has opened. Somehow, some way, some shape or form. And whatever it is that I'm feeling or whatever it is that, I, whatever it is that I'm thinking, what I do in that moment is I just say, yes, life. Sometimes that is the mantra. Sometimes that's all I have to say, life. And for those of you guys that are like, why life? I don't know. Uh, well, I do know, but for me, you know, it's just I, I'm giving life, I'm giving energy to what it, whatever it is that is creating um, or trying to be created within my life. And because my thoughts and my intentions stay at a high vibration, I receive with open arms and love and an open heart and gratitude the blessing that is coming in, okay? So that's what I have experienced personally. I want to know what you guys have experienced within your own life when you're seeing the number 1111 or 111 or some variation of it. I don't want you guys to take my experiences and or take what I'm saying and make it 100% your own unless it does resonate with you, unless it does make sense for you. So if you have your own experiences with the number 111 or 1111 showing up within your life, I really want to hear about it. I want you guys to share your stories down below. Who's going to see the number 1111 as you're watching this video now? Because every time I post a video, someone sees something, some type of synchronistic, something occurs every time within the Bahati Vibe Tribe. It is so crazy. So let me know down in the comments and make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.